Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. And in number 35 of my powerful tools of affinity, I showed you how to do this with Threshold, which basically cut out the white and you had all your colors behind it and you can do some cool abstracts. But I saw an old Photoshop tutorial that showed it in reverse and I thought I'd try it here. So this is number 42 in my powerful tools of affinity. I am doing it in both desktop and iPad. Right after the credits, you'll see the time code to jump ahead to the iPad version. But I suggest you watch both because I do them on the fly and sometimes one comes out very different than the other. So let's get started. I pulled in these two photos from Pixels on the stock photo tab. That's a man with a beard and there's just an abstract. On the previous tutorial, I just painted the abstract right in the tutorial. This time I'm just going to use another one, but you can paint one in if you want on your own. So the first thing I'm going to do, I always like to keep a copy just in case. So I control a command J. I'm duplicating that. I'm turning it off. I'm going to also turn off that bottom one too. So we'll take the first one and we go to adjustments threshold. And you move the threshold around to you think you don't want to like cover up his face you kind of get this little feeling of where you think it, you'd want it to be. And I think, I think right there is pretty good for me. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to right click and rasterize. I could rasterize and trim just in case there's extra. And I don't need all the, the rest of this. So what I can do is just delete anything around him. And I'm just going to take an eraser. Let's go to my brushes. I'm going to take a basic brush. The hardness of 100. I'm going to use that for the eraser. I'm going to just erase that right out and I'm going to really erase as much as I can all around here. It does not have to be exact but you really don't want any extras going around here so I'm just trying to get as much out of here as I can. Now what I'll do is I'll go to adjustments HSL and I just want to take the saturation way down so it's just really a black and white at this point. First I'm going to rasterize again. So I'm going to go to filters, colors, erase white paper. And so now it should be see-through. And what I'm, I'll do is I'll even enlarge it, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Now I'll add a new layer on top. And I'm going to get the paintbrush, bring it back to black. And I'm going to go into my brushes. And on my brushes, I'm going to go to sprays and splatters and go to the one if you, oh, it doesn't, I hate that you have to put, there's no names on it until you go there. I'm going to go to watercolor modulating drops. We'll try that one first. I'm not sure if that's going to be good, but that's the one we'll try right now. And you make sure your flow, hardness, everything is at 100%. I'm going to use my right bracket key to make it bigger. So make sure all your flow, everything, hardness, everything goes is put to 100. And I'm just going to start throwing drops. I'm going to like follow it out to the beard right out here. And maybe that's a little bit too much, but... I'm just going to go just like that. I'm just dragging a little bit and I'll go up here. Maybe we'll get some coming out of here. I'm going to undo that. I didn't like that. We'll just drag. Oops. I'm going to just drag some out here like this. Even some on the inside is fine. And you just play around. You decide how much you want. You can make the brush smaller if you want, like that. I'm just going to kind of go like that. And I think that's okay. And so I think that works. In fact, I might have done a little bit too much. So I might cut some of these off of the bottom. Let's see, like that. And the top, I don't like that top part here. So let's get rid of some of that. There we go. Take the two now. The paint, that's the paint drops. And then there's a the picture. I'm going to control or command G to group it and right click to rasterize it. All right, so put it into place. 
Now let's turn, let me duplicate our graphic. Controller Command J. Bring that above Thorn right now. Hide the old one, that's just my backup. And I'm going to bring it down on top and to the right of the man. And now you have him in there. And now I don't even, I don't like the colors, so I'm just gonna go to HSL. And I'm going to just decide what color I would like him to be. I kind of like that look. But I think I'll go into that blues and greens, and I like that. And now with that, you can move it around if you want to angle it. You can change. You can make it bigger or smaller. So you can decide how much of it you want. You want all the stripes, just make it bigger like that. Or if you want it smaller and you want other stuff going in, that's fine too. I kind of like all the stripes, I think. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you liked this tutorial. Coming up now is the iPad version. But if you don't want to stay and watch it, please click that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It really helps my channel out. So thanks so much and bye. Okay, I don't know if you watched the first half or not. But if not, hopefully I can get this to do the same thing. Because again, I'm fairly new on the iPad. So I pulled in two photos. And on each of these photos, here's one and here's the other one. The link is in the description if you want to use the same photos. So what I'm going to do now is go to Adjustments, which is right there. And it's going to go to Threshold, right on the bottom. Now on the bottom, there's where it says 50%, you can decide how much. And I don't like that much of the face uh, showing or not showing. So I'm going to just pull it back a little bit so there's a little bit more white in this area. So let's see. I'm thinking like that should be okay for me. So I'm going to uh, accept that. And now what I'll do is I'm going to select this one. I'm taking my finger and sliding it across the first one and sliding so the two are selected. I'm going to go group it, which is the center menu up here. And then I'm going to take that and do on this menu next to it, rasterize and trim. So now that's just the man. He's a solid man and that's all we need. So the next thing I want to do is to erase as much as I can, I just really want his face. So I'm just going to take the eraser. You can use a normal brush. Let it be 100% opacity, 100% flow, and 100% hardness. And you want it to be much bigger. So you just drag across to see the size. And just erase. You'll see the coloring coming out underneath. So you'll know you're doing a pretty good job here. Erase all around as close as you can get. It's not that important, but... You don't want any extra showing on the edges here. So, in fact, I'm going to take the one below it and make it bigger just so I can see for now. I can change it later. So let's go back to the man and hit the eraser again. Whoops, I did too much. So I hit, tapped with two fingers. That was how I undo. I'm just going to erase like kind of like that much. I don't need it to be exact. Let's get the bottom. And that's close enough for me, so let's hide this one there. Now I'm going to go to Filters, which is here, and slide, scroll up until you see Erase White Paper. And so that's, I click that, and if I did it right, and I'm not sure, so I'll check it out right now, turn that on, and you'll see that there is no white showing anywhere. There's only black for that man, so let's turn this off for right now. I'm going to enlarge him. I think he looks he'll he'll look much better like that. I may even crop the photo a little, but let's just enlarge him for now. Now I'm going to go to the paintbrush, and I want to make sure I paint in black, so you could see there's black right there. And I need to go to my brushes, and on brushes there should be the what came the the standard brushes that came with Affinity Photo. There's one called what's it called? Sprays and splatters. So I'm going to try that one first. And let's see. Let's try this, this watercolor modulating drops. And on the bottom, it shows you the width. So you could decide how big. You just slide right or left. And you'll see the circle in the center to see what it's doing. And you want the flow. It's, it starts off with 80%, but you want it to be 100%. And, oof. And now also I want to add, 
I want to add bleh, I want to add a new layer before I start painting. So I click up at the plus sign and do pixel layer. And now I'm going to start painting. First, let's test it here. And I'll, let me see if I want to go bigger. I think I even want to go bigger than that. Okay, I'm going to go that way. This is 600 something because this is a big photo. Now you use the size, whatever photo you want to use. So I'm going to undo those just to get rid of them. And now I'm going to start painting like where the beard is right here. I'm going to make, I want, I just want some of that to splatter out. So I'm painting inside the beard, you could see. So I, that it just kind of splatters a little bit like that. And I'm going to go maybe where the hair is on the, on the top. I'm just basically rubbing around as much as I can. I just want it to look like there's some splatters coming out of the man. And I'm going to bring the brush down a little bit to do some of the inside here, inside his head, just a touch, you know, and maybe like that. And I think I'm okay with that. I, I could do a little near the eye and maybe here. And I'm fine with the way that looks. So now I need to take those two again. I'm going to touch the first one and slide to the right on the second one. And I'm going to group them, which is that middle. And then I'm going to go rasterize and trim. So now what we have is a solid guy right there. And now the trick here is, if it works, <laughs> turn on the background and be careful. Do not drag it right up to the icon and let go because that's going to clip it the wrong way. I'm going to two fingers. I'm going to tap to undo that. What you need to do is drag it to the the icon and then go to the right. And now what you do, now it has the colors behind it. So now I don't like the colors, by the way, I'll fix that in a second. But you can decide now, you can change the size where you want them to be. You can rotate this any way you want to maybe like the, the stripes on the bottom of the beard, which I kind of like, and I think I'm going to go further out like that. And then I'm going to make sure I have that painting selected. And I'm going to go to adjustments, HSL, which is hue, saturation, and luminosity. And I'm going to tap on the bottom and just decide if I want a different hue. And I think I kind of want, maybe this time, last time I think I went in the greens and the blues like that. But I might change it for this one. Let's just see. We can add some more saturation, make it like really a bright look. And maybe, maybe darken it this time. Again, I did it a little bit differently on the desktop version. So this one, I think I'm going to go with that. And I'm happy with that. It's all in one group now. So you can now select that whole group instead of one individual. You could turn it and just put what you want. You want to sign your name, sign your name on the bottom. And there you go. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks so much.